Welcome back to our Simplify IT with Intersight series. In this video, we're going to discuss power capping utilizing a power policy applied with a chassis profile. Now, during normal operation, you want to maximize your power limits without risking overconsumption of your power or even power outages. But as you deploy new generations of hardware with higher power requirements, the ability to change or distribute available power is traditionally difficult. So, let's take a look at using the Intersight dashboard to create chassis profiles that will enable oversubscription of power without the risk of power or application outages. We first want to start by taking a look at the available power in the chassis. You can find that in the inventory tab of the chassis under power. Here we can see the max required power for our two servers is 4,834 watts. The available max power is 5,600 watts. So what we'll need to do is lower that power cap to something like 5,000 watts so that we don't oversubscribe the available 5,600 watts. To set the maximum power budget, we will need to create a power policy. By setting the power budget or power allocation down here at the bottom to 5000, this ensures that the server will not oversubscribe the chassis power, which could cause an outage. At this point, servers will be throttled so that our critical servers aren't impacted. We can also ensure that specific servers are prioritized with power when it is being throttled. Here we can see we have a high, medium, and low option available. To apply this policy, we're going to need to update our chassis profile. And as you can see here, we can select or view the current power policy. In closing, by utilizing the power policy, Intersight allows you to simply manage your UCSX series within the constraints of your facilities while maintaining the control of the impact on the applications.